So hello and welcome back to our Back to Basics computer craft let's play. Uh, this time we're going to go ahead and show how to use loops. Uh, it gets really tedious doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, for example, when we wanted to go down, we did turtle down six times. Now our mascot's missing. I'm not sure where he went. Um, I think he may not be back. Uh, he was looking a little dissatisfied last time. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look for a new mascot for next episode. But for this episode, we're going to show again how uh, while loops work, for and while loops. And the reason you want to use those is it makes repetitive tasks very easy. So what I'm going to do is I, I, uh, I have our turtle that we had from before, but I added him to a, a diamond mining pick. So we have our uh, little mining turtle. But I'm also going to use our, uh, another turtle that, we, that I just made recently, just a regular turtle. And we're going to show how to use a while statement to do something over and over again. So uh, a loop is uh, basically just something that you want repeated over and over. There's two types. There's the while that I talked about. And there's also uh, a for loop. And uh, you can usually use for loops just for simple, like if you want to do something, let's say, a set number of times. Like if you want to do something exactly 10 times or 20 times, you can use a for loop. So and then a while loop you can use to do something either a set number of times or you can also use it to do something and stop at a set condition. So I, I'll show you just the for loop I think this time and then the next time we'll go over the while loop. So here's an example of a for loop. Uh, we're going to do edit for, okay? And so here's a, a for loop for a equals 110 print a is, and then we're going to print A. So here's what's going on. Uh, and, oh, we also need a do. So here's what a for looks like. You do for, and then the name of a variable. And we haven't gone over variables, but they're basically just storage for some sort of information. In this case, it's a number. So we're storing a number in A, and it's going to go from 1 to 10. And it's going to go up by 1, so it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4. You can also change it. This time it'll go up, if you put this here, it'll go up by 2, so it'll be 1, 3, 5, 7. But we just want it to go up by 1, so you don't need to add that. And let's see how this, how this works. So A is, and you notice it does 10 times exactly, 1 through 10. So that's going to be useful if you want to try to do something a set number of times, for example. If you want to make exactly five uh, blocks of a wall, you can do A equals 1 to 5. Turtle, place down, and turtle forward. Now, we went over functions uh, recently, so we're going to make this into a function. So we're going to make it a function, one wall, and end. So we have two ends. This is for the four. In fact, let me space this out a little bit so it makes more sense. So the, here's the one wall function, and here's the end for the one wall function, and here's the for statement, and here's the end for the for statement. So it'll do this five times. It'll place one down, and then it'll go forward. And then at the end of the one wall function, we want him to turtle turn right. So he should, oh, he's going to try to place a wall underneath him, but that may not work because he is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. I might need to get rid of this post. It may be in the way. So it may not work. So um, well, we'll just try it. The place down might not work, but that's okay. So now normally when you make a tower, you need four walls. So here's another f uh, function. One floor, we'll call it. And here we want to do four floors. So for A equals, we'll call this a different variable. For B equals one to four. Oh, and you also need a do. So for statement looks like this. Uh, for, for A equals it's the start and the end and do, and then it ends with an end. So here we have four floors. For B is from one to four, and we want it to do one wall. End, end. So end for the four and end for the function. So why don't we try one of these first? Let's try to do one wall first. So we'll do one wall, save. Exit, and let's see if that works. So let's do four. One, two, three, four, five. And he's trying to place it beneath him, but it's not working because it's grass, but that's okay. Go left. 
go back. Oh, go back four. So that's good so far. It looks good. It looks like he's doing the right amount. So let's edit that for loop again. And one floor should do the one wall exactly four times. So once he's done with that one wall, we want him or one floor, we want him to go up and do it again. So how many times do we want to do that? Well, let's say we want him to make a total of 10 levels. So we'll do for B C equals 1 to 10, do uh, 1 floor. And then after he does a floor, we want him to move up, or else he's just going to do one floor over and over again on the same, uh, just right here in the bottom. So that's that's good. So we're using functions, we're using functions inside functions, and we're using for loops. So this should be a quick way if you want to make a tower. If this is going to make a 5x5 five five tower, uh, because the, each wall is doing a five place downs, and then uh, four walls, one to four, and then after that he's going to go up ten times. So this should make a five by five, uh, w wide and long, and this should make a ten ten uh, ten story high tower. So let's go ahead and see this in action. Hopefully it'll work on the first try. Sometimes it doesn't, but uh, let's run it four. So he's going. Uh oh, he might get stuck. That might mess things up. Let me get rid of this thing if I can really quick. Ugh. There we go. He would have bumped into that. That could have been a problem, but it's okay. So here he goes. He's making his 5x5 five five tower. So that's one way that you can use 4s. You can use 4s in a lot of different ways. You can have him, uh, let's say we wanted to have him do 10 lights and then stop. Uh, for that one program, if you remember that program, um, I have the disk, I think. So here, we'll put it in and disk and light edit light so if we had wanted to do this 10 times instead of doing this place and up place and up place and up all we would have needed to do okay so this is this make light instead of doing four make lights we'd simply do for a equals one to four do make light and end and the nice thing about that is now you can do from 1 to 4, or you can do 1 to 14, or even 1 to 40. Now, at this point, you're going to start running out of uh, materials before you start running out of, uh, bef before he stops running. So it's something that makes it a lot easier to, uh, to try to do something repetitive. You can also, someone was asking in the comments if you can make a function like uh, back. So let's make a back function. Uh, edit back. And so sometimes, you know, if you do turtle.back, you'd think you could do turtle back 4 and he'll go back 4, but he won't. So let's make our own function. Function back, and then we're going to pass in a number. So you can call this variable anything you want. We're going to call it um, time, a uh, number. And I'll go over variables in a future episode, so don't worry about that too much just yet. So function back number, we simply want to do 4a equals 1 to number do turtle dot back end end so now you can do back and you can put in a number let's say we want him to go back 10 times we can do back 10 and now if we run that function uh oh it's getting dark back he should go back exactly 10 times and you can use that function and uh, go forward him. You can use that function in any of your programs. You can take that function, copy it, and paste it into one of your programs. And um, then you can use back and forward and left and right and uh, put in a number instead of doing it over and over again. So that's, that's an example of how you can use for loops. Next time we're going to go over while loops. They're a little bit different. Uh, instead of putting just uh, from 1 to 10, you're going to give it some sort of a different... Um, some sort of a different parameter so you can do you can do tests so here's an example you could have him dig down until he hits bedrock and uh, that's not a set number we don't know exactly what number um, we can guess but uh, if you want to keep on going down until you hit bedrock you'd use a while statement so we'll talk about that next time we'll also start talking about uh, in future episodes uh, variables and what those are and if statements, conditional statements. But for now, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave you with that. And until next time, happy computing.